you ever have a situation where the system didn't work or or was challenging you a little bit? Eh, afortunadamente no. Fortunately no. Oh, okay, good. Sí, todos, todos contamos con, con tecnología. We sí, all have el, our technology, individual. our individual technology sí, si as por well. Razón, se queda sin batería, so if we run out of battery, la, for example, internet, datos, or we lose internet or data, trabajamos con un compañero, we have él, a colleague su with us, activado. and our colleague always has his equipment activated. What we will see is that aside from our surveillance that we do in the vehicles, tenemos servicios físicos y específicos estacionarios. We also have stationary equipment. Con la finalidad de disuadir conductas delictivas. And the, I, I, the purpose is to deter any type of criminal activity. Y una respuesta más pronta e inmediata. And be able to al, answer in a quicker way because we have the equipment and we have people out there too. Do you think that if the citizens see more police on the street, they think it's more safer on the street? Yeah? Yes, it's a perception. Sin embargo, yeah. la prioridad es los tiempos de respuesta. However, the priority is to be able to have good response time, to make sure we have enough people in strategic spots. Se reducen los tiempos de respuesta. And that way we reduce our y por response time. Yes. Yes. la atención es más inmediata. And as a consequence, we serve our citizens in a more immediate way. We report it to the control base that we are going down this street. Okay. Él lo sabe porque lo acaba de comunicar y a través de las cámaras nos está observando. Um, they know that because I have just communicated it and also they can observe us through the cameras that we have on the vehicle. Okay. There's See? a camera over there. So they know exactly when you go into a neighborhood. The strategy changes pretty much actually when you're driving in the neighborhood. So normally when I'm going into Keretara I wouldn't go into these kind of neighborhoods. So it's for me it's interesting to see how the interaction is with the police officers and uh, the public. You normally don't get to see those kind of things. And it's kind of relaxed, although, you know, there can be a situation, of course, that it's not, not that kind of relaxed. Vamos, vamos, Pantera a la 41, control. No salió, ¿por qué 18? Now, the heat is on actually, uh, they're following the two motorcycles right now, uh, they're clearing the situation, they're just going to check what's going on, I'm not sure what's going to happen, but we'll soon find out. There is already support there. Do you know what's going on? Some people went into a house without authorization. We all have to see a situation that ended up very well. They caught uh, two crooks who were trying to break in. And um, we're now heading back to the command uh, control center. For me, it's quite well, clear how they're communicating with each other and um, also how effective they are. Because the last situation that we had, that was a response time of five to six minutes. And that is what is important. Reducing the response time, create more awareness of the police officers on the street, and be more effective with the data to prevent the crime. So we're back. Okay. Can I push the button? Yes, yes go ahead. Like a little kid. <laughs> it's not so heavy when you're sitting in the car. <laughs> okay, thanks again. This is okay. All right, good morning. This is my last day. And the last day is reserved for visiting the Airbus Secure Light Communications office. And that office is about 20 minutes from the hotel. And yesterday was a kind of a relaxing day. Um, I took some time off to prepare some work actually for today. And I enjoyed myself exploring Mexico City.
So when you look at Mexico City, you'll find police officers on every single street corner. You will also see a lot of CCTV cameras. So the thing is here, I really am curious what Airbus Secure Land Communications has in mind to take the next step, the next leap to introduce broadband communications for the Mexico City Police. Gracias. Have a good trip. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, bye bye. And we're there. I'm fine. You're not that not so good, right? Being in the traffic jam. This is this is Mexico City for you go from traffic jam to traffic jam in the morning. Suddenly you're 40 minutes late. You know that's that's the way. That's life in Mexico. Alright, let's go to the headquarters of Airbus Defense and Space Secure Lens Communications. Full stop. Okay. There's no doubt about it, I'm here with Airbus Defense and Space. Just take a look. So, good morning. <laughs> so, good morning. Come in. How are you, sir? Fine, you? Very Welcome. well. This is the SMBNO floor. This is the Parque Hundido. In some days, uh, a Mexico giant flag over there. Oh, really? Yes. And I have a small one. Here. And you have a small Mexican <laughs> flag over here. Yeah. Well, you should be proud of who you are and where you're coming from, right? And yeah. I believe many Mexicans do have that feeling. They're very proud of their heritage and yeah, where sure. they're coming from. Sure. And that's what you see all around the city. Everybody's proud of their yes. heritage. Yes, we are uh, doing. Uh, a Mexican Airbus here at the end. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and, a, and a way of business that we have built in the country in the last uh, three decades. Uh, so we have established here, we are very close to our customers. Yes. We uh, like doing things that well. So yeah. uh, being here, being local is, uh, is the way to be, to be a business successful in business in the country. Not only selling product, but doing uh, something for the local economy, for employment, for industrial development in terms of space, aeronautics, uh, IT communications is what okay. we do. We are uh, paying taxes here, we are doing uh, our business here. Uh, so uh, most of the people you see here is, are, are local. Okay, it's just few, few people from, uh, from uh, Europe. This is the the, the Airbus magazine. So is this is a special edition for oh, the 50th right. anniversary of the group. Mixlink, because that is that is the next big thing for Airbus Secure Land Communications here in Mexico, is it? Yes, uh, Mixlink is uh, quite new in the company. Uh, it's a secure mobile virtual network operator. That's uh, a, a service, a pure service offering for the public safety and defense market that we have tailored, created specifically for the Mexican uh, authorities in the defense and, and public safety first uh, responders. This is a new offering that complements our traditional Tetra and Tetrapol offering. Uh, normally, we, the police officers have a radio like this. Tetra radio in this case? Yes, uh, yes exactly. Uh, or a Tetrapol radio like this other one. Yeah. Uh, so with this new service, we have based on 4G, 5G uh, platforms, we have uh, an application instead of a radio, in, instead of a physical radio, we have an application here that works as the radio. It's interoperable, uh, interoperable with this radio, so communicates one, from one to the other uh, very uh, easily, transparent. And, and then you have as well other possibilities that uh, are accessible through 4G, 5G, which are uh, video images, high definition satellite images. Because it's broadband. Uh, because it's broadband, now, exactly. Now, wait a minute. If we combine this radio yeah. 
with this device, yes, these two, then we have a new device which is called the bat, right? Yes, exactly. Because you don't need two devices anymore as a police officer. Exactly. Uh, so this is a special device that has been designed for that purpose, exactly. When you have a police officer that has a radio, that needs a radio and uh, needs as well a smartphone, in that case, the best is to have in just one, the Dabat, the solution. Dabat is one of the devices supported by our uh, SMVNO, by Mexing. Um, but we support other devices as well. We are not, uh, let's say, limiting the, the use case uh, uh, to only our devices. No, you, got, so you got Bitium devices? We have Bitium, we have Sony, we have Samsung homologated already in our SMVNO, but we can have other devices according to new use case that fi we find out. It depends uh, what the customer wants. Exactly. And it depends how you can integrate it into your... Network. Exactly, exactly. So if you think that all sounds too good to be true, I ask for a small demonstration in order to see the application in operation in real time. Therefore, Eduardo Rodriguez and Eric Villanueva, Integration and Validation Engineer for SMVNO, demonstrated to me the MixLink solution. Eduardo, are you there? Please say hello to me. We establish secure communications between a Tetrapole device and a broadband device, as well as communications between two smartphones, and it all worked flawlessly. Here we have a dispatcher for, for Mixlink. Furthermore, Eric showed me the dispatcher for Mixlink, where we could see all of the users and from where the operator can communicate to all of the users using different devices. When we talk about this transition... During another conversation that I had with Matteo Cordinas, Vice President Sales for Airbus Secure Land Communications, it became very clear that Airbus has put a lot of effort in making this work here in Mexico. The advantages that we have with broadband complement our narrowband. The first part of the operations are mission critical and the coverage they have with the radio, the actual, the actual radio, are not the same as that they have in the broadband service. So they complement each other. And for tactical operations, you need video, real-time video. When you're doing tactical, video becomes really important. It's not only one or the other technology, it's a complementary service between one another and the other one. I'm going to guide you through the yes. door. Okay. okay. Hi guys. Market. Good morning. Okay. Yeah, I think this is your channel, right? That's my channel. Yeah, that's my YouTube channel. I'm gonna subscribe. Oh, wait a minute. The small kitchen has good coffee. Yes. Okay. Welcome. We have been in this in this building for 15 last 15 years. It's, it's pretty stable in the earthquakes. Because at the end, everything is done by the people. It's it's about people, right? Yeah. yeah. The first time that we talked about this was in 2017, uh, talking about the idea, the project, and then in 2018 we told the market in Expo Seguridad 2018 we will deliver this service one year ahead. And we inaugurated, we launched the service in Expo Seguridad 2019. So we are delivering, we are committing to the market, we are serious, we are in the country for a long term, and the only way to keep here our credibility is to deliver what we say. Can we say this is the Airbus way? Yes, it's the Airbus way.